I'm talking basing on my own experience. I'm now 66 years old, but I look younger now. And that was one reason why I started to believe in it. Next, I was hypertensive and I was diabetic. I was taking insulin as well as metformin. I was also taking a lot of antihypertensive medicines and my creatinine went up. And when I learned about this poor placenta, I don't believe on it at first because I was already a patient myself doing adipose stem cell, but it didn't work. And then I later on realized that if you are in old already, if you are 60 years old already, the stem cell that we get from your own body is 60 years old. So it is not as effective as when you take a younger placenta stem cell. Mm. So when I tried this placenta stem cell, which is the poor chair, within six months, everything became normal. My cholesterol also went down to normal. Creatinine went down as well as blood sugar. Since that time on, I tried it to a lot of my patients. It is where I realized that stem cells really are the carpenter cells of the body. And why do we take it from the, the, the deer or the sheep, as was questioned by my classmate Boise. The sheep and the deer are the only animals compatible with man. They are any part of the deer and any part of the sheep we can let's say they take the hair of the sheep i use it to suture a wound it will not develop any allergic reaction now going back into religion jesus himself said you are my sheep and i am your shepherd so why of all animals he said that we are sheep so i believe that we are compatible with the sheep because in terms of science, the sheep have no antigens. Wala silang allergic reaction. That's so why we took the, the deer, white deer, specifically from New Zealand. Because New Zealand is an isolated country down under the earth. And these deer eat only grass hindi yung marijuana grass. They just eat grass. Mapili sila. That's why they are not carriers of any other disease. And besides being located in New Zealand, the birds from China cannot migrate and introduce disease to the sheep or deer from New Zealand. And why placenta? Because the placenta is where the baby is formed. And the cells in the placenta, after forming the baby that was born, a sheep or be a man, the placenta, the, the cells, the, what we call the blood around the placenta, still contains young stem cells. And that is what we harvest and culture so that it is now presented now as the placental or we call the poor chair placenta. So these young stem cells are very energetic. They can repair and renew any damaged cells of the body. Even the dead cells can be repaired or replaced. That's why it's just like doing an organ transplant without surgery. Say if you are diabetic, the organ that is affected is the pancreas. Slowly, as you take the portia placenta, that pancreas is gradually regenerated to a new pancreas. Likewise, to people who have stroke, patients who have spinal problems, especially those with neuromuscular diseases like Parkinson's and psychotic, uh, psychiatric problems, Alzheimer's, these are patients that easily respond 
to poor cell placenta or any stem cell for that matter. So that in this case, people also complaining of numerous body pains, muscle pains as a result of sleepless nights, which we call fibromyalgia. They respond well to poor cell placenta because it induces a person to sleep better. A lot of patients who don't sleep well suffer from insomnia. They suffer from uh, this uh, lack of vitamin B complex as well as the stem cells. Our stem cells in our body, which we call natural stem cells, are still present in our body. We were born with stem cells. We were made by stem cells. So that when we are grown up, our stem cells are still present in the body, but in the Namashadu effective because of our exposure to the numerous toxicity of the air, the food that we take, our body becomes acidic, and now we start to deteriorate as our genetic code is altered. That's why as we grow older, we are prone to have diseases, our skin wrinkles, and all kinds of problems come out. And it's because the natural stem cells of our body is not anymore effective. That's why we have to add stem cells, like what we take in this poor placenta, and also to wake up those, wake, or those cells that have been uh, inactive because of aging process. And also the natural stem cells are being recharged to work again to help in the, the building of our body cells. I have patients with cancer, several patients with cancer recovered. And I have videos to, to present to you or uh, the testimonies of these patients. They got well using poor cell placenta. I even told them to stop um, using the chemotherapy because chemotherapy destroys our natural stem cells and even the poor gel placenta. I had patients who had um, renal failure and they recovered because they could not afford anymore to have a kidney transplant. The kidneys that were failing were regenerated to a new kidney and the dialysis was stopped. That is a fact, and you can approach some of these patients if you doubt it, and you can talk to them how they improve using poor cell placenta. In orthopedic problems, people, patients with back pains and knee pains don't respond well immediately. That's why if the knee problem is in early stage of arthritis, the poor cell placenta can improve the knee pain. But if it is already on the moderate to severe type of arthritis of the knees or the back, as well as shoulder joints, I advise that you see a specialist in orthopedics to analyze and find out if stem cell could still be effective. What I usually do, I inject stem cells right into your knees and to your back and continue using the poor cell placenta because the direct injection of stem cell into your joints will regenerate the knee immediately. So if there are any one of you who have questions with regards to the medical problem or with friends, I'm still here to answer your questions because I am I have a lot of experience in trying to use stem cell as a mode of management to some of the cases when Western medicine have failed to improve. Thank you. Doc, uh, it was earlier mentioned that uh, you look younger or you really become younger, uh, especially with uh, Morte Placenta. Okay, how long? Okay, six months is a regular yes. uh, period of time by which you can feel something. Okay. But how long should one be taking uh, 
for care if you eventually want to know wala sa goal. Alam ko eh. The prescribed dose of stem cells is six months. And the effect, you know, after six months, the total number of stem cells that was in, was in, uh, was taken by you through this placenta, they keep multiplying. They double, they triple every month to the point that after six months, you have sufficient number to gradually repair your whole body. So the looks in your face does not immediately show that you have become younger. But as months put pass by and you see your old friend, you yourself will not notice it. Your old friends will say you, hey Boise, you look like you were in your high school, something like that. So meaning to say, you don't see the youth that came into your face or to your body. People we have not seen for some time will give the right comment. So, and the effect also in reducing your hypertension, diabetes, cancer, uh, Parkinson's, all other medical problems you have, you will notice the gradual improvement in your laboratories. We have to document it. That's why when we were doing these stem cells, I usually get the baseline, kung anong problema nyo. You have high uric acid, I get it, and then we give you stem cells. If you have uh, some form of cancer, after six months, we get the same parameters and you will notice the improvement. Even those suffering from uh, prostatic hypertrophy, patients with, uh, like today, uh, last yesterday, I had a patient with bladder cancer. I am treating him now with stem cell because his doctor, his oncologist gave him chemicals, chemotherapy, but it did not help him. His hair started to be falling off and he had also uh, a decrease of appetite. So I said, stop the chemo because chemo has not proven its success. All their patients died. Nobody survived the chemo. If, if ever it, it, they claim that they have improved, it is only part of uh, remission. They will all, the cancer will always come back. Madami ho tayo napapakinggan o nakikilala ng mga tao na pumunta sa Germany. Tumira doon ng isang linggo. At uh, they, they enter this villa for them to be able to be rejuvenated. Well, of course, the uh, intent was initially to become or to look younger. Okay. So, meron ho ba tayo garam dito sa Maynila? Yes. We have been doing the same thing here, but what they do in Germany, uh, they do this adipose stem cell. I do it myself here. It's no difference than what they do there. But it, our training was more on uh, the same way as they do. We do it here. But several patients died already who had their stem cells done in Germany here. Why? Kaya nasira ang stem cell about four or five years ago because these Filipinos were told by the Germans that after receiving the adipose stem cell, okay na kayo. So they stopped their medications and told everybody in the Philippines, I just had stem cell, I'm all right. They died. Why? Because stem cell is not an overnight treatment. It is a regenerative process. You have to wait. So you continue with your medications. Slowly, you are being monitored until everything is back to normal and that's the time you stop the medication. So don't believe that stem cell is an 
immediate effect. It is a regenerative process. Okay, well, uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be very interested on the how much. How much lower or difference in price will the regular Filipino pangahuman naman yung mga mayayaman na magpwede magpastem siya. Ngayon, ang balita ko rin naman ho, eh, dahil sa inyo, eh, pati lahat ko ng tao, I think you're very, very democratic with your, uh, the way you charge people. If we may, of course, I know it's a case-to-case -case basis, but how much more or less savings will people have as compared to the amount that they would have spent if they had flown to Germany? Okay. What they do in Germany is the adipose stem cell. In the Philippines, we used to charge one million. And because of me, I lowered it to 350,000 per session. But it is not effective. So even those who went to Germany, they still have to go back every year just to have the same treatment. And there is no guarantee that they are already totally well. So. We, I opted to get a younger stem cell, and this is the better one, the poor chair placenta, which is cheaper. It costs only 19260 per month 